everyone! Good morning! It's September 18th, 2019. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop. This is our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube channel. I would love for you to subscribe to our channel. We're on week six of our Happy Camper Sew Along. This is designed by the wonderful Lori Holt. Um, we're honored to be able to publish her patterns, but we're not the designer. This is her pattern. So I'll just show you her finish. She designed this so it would fit in a standard 8x10 frame, or you can just finish it into something like this. She got this at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, one of the two. I'll show you mine, kind of where I'm at. So we're working on the bottom row of trees, and I am stitching on 25 count Lugana oatmeal. Lugana oatmeal that is designed by Lori. So she designed not only the pattern, but the fabric. And the back, you will see, is slightly different colored. So one color, one side is modeled and one is not. So you can see that I'm stitching on the darker side. And um, I changed my dog a little bit. So um, he has some fluffy ears and a smaller tail. And I changed my words to be the hot pink that's the same as the door. But other than that, I have kept everything the same. And we're gonna just stitch just a little bit. I think I'm just gonna do a little flower. Um, Y'all have seen me stitch a lot, but I have a ton of stuff this week, especially thanks to Cheryl Cohorn who brought in a ton of stuff. I've got some teases and we've got some big stuff coming next week. So I'm just gonna stitch a little so I can make sure I get to everything. And guess what, this week everything's organized. I got myself organized. Um, so first thing is, is I have this light. It's a daylight light. I kind of fold it like this. I was able to travel with this in my suitcase when I went to Lori's house last week. I wanted to see if it would break because, I mean, I thought it might. But I thought, you know what, I would rather, I would rather have it than not. So I took it. So it folded up, but I lost the cord. So if, it, if the power goes out, it's because I lost the cord. I don't know where it is. I think it's at home. So I'm going to just kind of... Move over, try not to hit Lily's foot. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, move this. I'm just gonna stitch. So I'm just gonna stitch a little bit and y'all can ask me questions. Um, I've got Let's see, I'm stitching with a John James, nope, I'm stitching with a Pat Carson Tapestry 26. That is, I can't even keep up with what needle I'm stitching with, but the best thing about her needles is I haven't broken one yet, because I tend to break needles. So, can you pull your hair behind your ears? Oh, yes, this one? Yes. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, and I'm gonna basically go ahead and after this week, I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything so I can do my very last stitch on camera. I'm not sure how I'm finishing this. I really like how Lori did hers, but um, I probably need to do something different to give you all some ideas. So I've gotta figure out what or how I'm going to finish it. I'm not really sure where I would put it, um, and so that's kind of how I usually try to determine finishing is where would it go in my house kind of thing. And I don't really know where it would go. So I'm like, I don't know if it should be a pillow. I don't know if I should put it on the wall. So I think my goal is to try to figure out where it would fit before I figure out how to finish it. I was cracking up because last night I was watching somebody do a floss tube. And she basically was just like, oh yeah, I made this, but it doesn't fit my house, so um, I'm just not even going to use it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you just spent like a crazy amount of money on something you're not even going to use. It cracked me up. So um, let me know what questions you'll have, or if you've had any, maybe you have some questions on the sew along, or maybe you've had some difficulty doing something. I can try to help. I'm not going to do as much stitching today just because... We have so much stuff, and hopefully, um, hopefully you'll have some questions for me. Mm 
No questions? Uh, no, everyone's saying good morning. So good morning <laughs> to everyone. Oh, Ilsa Roca says it, today is the National Day of Chile. Oh, awesome. That's I love chili. chili. You know, I think the best chili is from Wendy's, though. Oh, I think she means chili the country. Oh, oh my gosh. Lily. I'm sorry. Okay, see, my light went out. Okay, oh, no. the reason my light went out is because I, um, <laughs> I think it's in my bag at home. I actually forgot a whole bag this morning. So, um, it's because I'm, I've got this whole thing that I'm going to do for next week, and I'm going to go home today and stitch it, and I'm so excited. So I took it home a day early. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. You can still see a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm just gonna stitch. I think I'm just gonna stitch around here and then be done for today because I have so many things and y'all have seen me stitch. Oh, we do have questions. Okay. okay. Um, Sandy Rock says, will Lori be coming out with more colors in the 25 count? It's awesome. Yes, she is. I can't tell you the colors, but I do know the colors. Ha ha. Yeah, she is. Okay, then Denise Henry says, on your new dotted cross stitch fabric, what would you cross stitch on there? Also the basket weave. It's in my cart, but I don't know what to put on there. Well, we have some, some things planned already, and I can talk more about it at the end because I'm going to show it, but I do have some ideas, um, and maybe that can be something I do next week where I just come in and have the pattern um, with some fabric ideas some pattern ideas with the fabric I can do that next week but I do have one kid idea that we are working on right now as we speak so I do have that at least okay and Sherry Smart says what will be our next cross stitch along oh I'm gonna announce it next week okay. and Doreen Duskin says does your family camp you can hang it in your trailer if you do haha <laughs> no I don't camp. That is not a thing that I do. I don't even like to go outside. I could live the rest of my life never going outside. No, I don't camp. Um, my kids have never been camping. My my sister-in-law loves to camp. Her son is an Eagle Scout. He's now in college, but he's still gonna um, he's still gonna like go home and do like some things and I guess his chapter. Um, but he's like a pro at that, and she goes and camps with him and stuff. I told her she's crazy. So she wanted my fam. This is a funny story. She um, she got divorced a couple years ago, and so she was like, well, let's all go do this family camping. And I was like, Melinda, I am not going camping. You can take all four of these children by yourself. There's no chance. And then Kevin kind of looked at her like, uh, I don't really want to go either. So that kind of nixed that idea. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not a, the worst, one of the worst things I ever did was I was in Girl Scouts and my mom would send me to this Girl Scout camp. I'm still mad at her over it. I hated it. <laughs> I mean, I just, oh, yeah, I mean, I just not an outdoor person at all. Okay, Rita Strong says, my daughter wants to get into cross stitch or embroidery and I would like to gift her with beginner's kits. What would be your suggestion for a beginner's kit? Lori Holt's stuff would be definite beginner. A uh, 10 count would be really easy. So maybe one of our 10 count kits. Denise, can you think of one? That's a Stitch cards would also be great because if you did the mm -hmm. stitch cards, those are single patterns. I would try a stitch cards and stitch on 10 count. So see, real quick, I just got a little flower. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just finish that off, turn around, and be ready for my day so I've been using these new little point protector thingies what are they called Denise point, protector? point protectors so um, they're Lori Holtz and they're bigger than the ones that she um, she used to use and they're awesome because they actually stay on in my bag so it's fun because then I don't, um, my scissors don't poke out of my bag and get me anymore. So that's awesome. So I'm just going to put everything back. Lots of people are wondering how your trip with Lori was. It's awesome. We're going to talk about it in a little bit. I have photos. Woo. That's why I said I can't do too much here because I have so many things. But I do want to announce first our winner, our Happy Camper winner. It is Mary Mac. Mary Mac Madamine on Instagram. 
and she says this week's progress on my version of the happy camper cross stitch on to the bottom tree so much fun 10 10 count vintage ada so that's awesome because she's um she's using the 10 count so that's beginner turn my phone off my phone's going off yeah so um now i'm going to show you some other progress on happy camper so here we go dun, 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 dun. shelby so shelby does all of her social media graphics so if you are on our instagram facebook any of that she takes all the photos and she is the one who let me copy her little doggy mm -hmm. i know and she's got purple going on so there's shelby's and she is stitching on 30 count portobello linen and she's using dmc so go shelby this is Cody's. She is stitching on 14 count whitewashed board by Fabric Flare, and she went ahead and got the Cory Yoder DMC pack, and she's, it's so cute. Super cute. And I love that little, um, here how the fabric just kind of goes up right there. I think it's cute. And then we have two more. First we have Denise's. Mm. So she's, this is the back side of the 25 count I'm using. It's the lighter side. And so she's kind of got that Texas Chevy truck looking <laughs> red going and blue bonnets. And this is 25 count Lori Holt Lugana. And this is Cheryl's. Cheryl's all done. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know she was done. So she is using, um, she's stitching on beautiful beige 28 count linen. And she is using some classic color works. And she has a little doggy. She has lots of cats. She doesn't have a dog in real life, but <laughs> there you go. So um, we released on Monday Lori Holt's brand new pattern. So we published it for her. It's called Quilty Love. It's right here. I'm going to let Lily zoom in so I don't break down because sometimes I fall. <laughs> or I this thing breaks. Anyway, so I stitched this over a year ago. We stitched it on... Oh oatmeal 10 count i stitched it and lori went ahead and did the buttons for me and these are rickrack and that is i stitched with rf floss and this is just rf floss half stitches going all the way across so it's really cool because it's really a collaboration between lori and i of course she is the ultimate designer i'm not the designer in any way but she helped me do the stuff i didn't want to do and so we will be doing a stitch along later with this um, and we're probably going to do some kind of challenge where we do, some people do gray, some people do green, that we don't just have to do pink. And I'll probably do some little motifs since I've already stitched this in some different colors. So that will be coming later, up, later. And we, of course, have some thread packs. So we've got Aura Floss. And it just uses three colors. So if you're going to change the colors, it's super easy. You don't have to think too much because there's red, pink, and white. And then this is the DMC. So you can see the difference in the color is not, hold on, the white is the only one that's a little bit different. You can see that the RF loss is slightly whiter, but the pink and the red are pretty much the same. So just, you know, if you're wondering between the two, there is that. And the pattern looks like this. This is the front cover. This is the back cover. It's a uh, slightly glossy cardstock and it's in color so I'm gonna flip over so you can see that we put it in color that's all I'm gonna give you because I'm the I don't want you to steal my pattern but um so I'm um, super excited super honored that we get to do all of Lori's stuff um, so this is brand new pick up the pattern and pick up your floss packs at Fat Quarter Shop we truly appreciate your business and um, Lori does too I know so those are the two big things that I have for this week. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over my pillow. Da -da -da! So this is called Patchwork Halloween. And um, I made this into a pillow. So what we have is a kit to make this. Basically what I did is I had the pattern. The pattern is Patchwork Halloween. Oh, here's the kit. Da -da -da. So let me show you the pattern, how it came originally. It's by Jardin Prees. And so you can see I changed the colors. 
Hers was more of a bright orange, and I kind of wanted something different. So we put in the colors, and I did change a couple things, but we put notes on the back. If you buy the kit of where I put it, it comes with your fabric. I stitched on the modeled side. Yep, I did. And then all your floss comes in this little cute container so that you can keep it. And it has a little needle in there. So you have everything you need to make it. 25 count Lagana, but I'm gonna tell you how I turned it into a pillow. So I'm super proud of myself. One thing that I wanted to be able to do is to show you guys how if you maybe aren't a quilter, because obviously a lot of you know me from quilting, but some of you might not. And if you don't know how to make a pillow, but you know how to cross stitch, you can make this. Because we bought the pillow at Hobby Lobby. Target. Target. Haha, <laughs> Target. Denise bought it at Target. Cody bought it at Target. Somebody bought it at Target for me. <laughs> and um, we just, so this is just a pillow that we bought. And I'm going to show you how I did this. So, um, so my first step was I took my fabric and I decided that that's how much I wanted, where you see the line, that is how much I wanted it to show. Um, so I just kind of decided it was about two or three stitches out and instead of using a square ruler I like to draw directly on the little cross stitch lines so that um, It comes out more square than if you use a square ruler So that's how much I wanted to show so on the next screen you can see that I cut apart a quarter inch away from those lines so I basically drew lines cut a quarter inch away and then the next slide, I cut these one and three quarter inches. So they finish at one and a quarter inches. And this is a grunge color 30150-519. So I cut those and on the next screen you're going to see that I added two to the side, pressed, and then I added two to the top and bottom. And then what I did is on the next fabric, I cut this super wide. I cut this probably the same, but it's not going to finish that wide. So I cut this the same as the other one. This is an old Farmhouse 2 skew from Joanna Figueroa that I had in my stash. It was a fat quarter. I just wanted to grab what I had in my stash, so um, we don't have it anymore, but it's just like a little black check herringbone kind of thingy. And then I added it to the sides. You're not going to see that image because I forgot to take it. But this is the back side of the image. So basically I added the borders to the side, pressed, added to the top and bottom and pressed. And then you're going to see this product called Hot Hammer. Now, this is what we, oh sorry, can you go back? Yeah. So this is what we have now, which is not completely straight. But they used to have a product that was more like a ruler. So I still have the old product and I love that product. So um, this is what we have now, but I have the older one that they've now discontinued. I measured half an inch away from my stitch line, used that hot hammer and folded it back. So then I have all this on the back side. And then that is how the front looks. I that hot hammer is basically a piece of thick fabric, kind of like felt, but thicker, that you can iron directly on so you don't burn your fingers. I use it all the time, and if I could find another one of those long rectangular ones, I would pay a pretty penny for it. Um, I wish they wouldn't have discontinued it. So I used that hot hammer on all four sides and pressed it down, and you can see how straight it got. It would have been great if I could take a picture straight on a ruler on a mat, but I don't know how. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not good at pictures. Um, so then this is nice and flat and creased. And then I placed it on my pillow, and you can see that this pillow has all those lines, which is wonderful because I could just count the number of lines to get it even and I use this product called Stitch Witchery that I use all the time. It is by Dritz and it's basically a double-sided fusible tape. I actually ran out so I'm taking this package home and I put that where when I laid it down it would go behind this orange part. So I just laid it, put my pillow on the one side then I ironed. Then I moved to the next side, laid some stitch witchery, ironed, 
and did that on all four sides slowly. So the only thing on this pillow that is holding it down is the stitch witchery and I hand stitched all the rest. So that's all the pictures, Lily. Okay. And what I hand stitched with is right here. It's the, it's the, the one that y'all kept noticing that I removed. So I used Big Eye number 10 applique needles by Tulip and this gray which matched my pillow. Now it doesn't match my white but I wanted it to sink into the pillow so I did use applique needles and I took tiny tiny stitches. You can't even see them um, and I pulled pretty taut and if you look at it especially in person it looks like I sewed this into the pillow because when I stitched it down I did stitches really close together and really tight so it kind of pulled it in. So, ta-da! So you can make a pillow too. You could do that technique with any pattern you have. You can add one fabric, two fabrics. That hot hammer really helps you not burn yourself. Um, I use it all the time. That little hot hammer is like my little trick. So I'm so excited to show you my pillow. And then I'm going to show you some whips and some finishes. So here is Boo by Priscilla Blaine. She is the artist that designs this for hands-on design. And this is mine. So um, I got all the top done and I think I'm gonna turn my jar into the same aqua that I used on Harvest instead of gray. So that's mine, oops. Yeah, can you pull down yeah. and then I can just keep them all down here. So this, so I can see, sorry. So this is mine, um, but I'm going to change the jar. And I'm only using orange because I think my kids would like that better. Kevin asked me, why are you doing it only orange? I said, oh, I think that's what the kids would like. And then this Ooh. is Terry's. That was a cool reveal. Like. Yeah, I know, really bright. So I'm going to take my little cheat sheet off. So she is stitching on 28 count Joblin. She is using the colors Pumpkin Harvest, Sassy Brass, Just Rust, Cupid, and Peapod. So if you want to make her hers like that, and then she's just, all she has to do now is this, which is really awesome. I love hers. I love when people do totally different. And you can see the difference between chalkboard black fabric and black fabric. I don't think I could use the black black in my house because my dog's hair would be all over it. So there's Boo. And then the next thing we have is by Cheryl. So I'm going to do the same thing. This is a Merry Making Mini. October 31st by Heart and Hand. And she finished it. Oh. It's cute, right? Mm -hmm. It has a little bead on it or something. She has beads on there. Oh. And she used 32 count vintage country mocha Belfast linen, which is here. And she used the hand dyed floss. And you will notice she uses this a lot because in this package comes a lot of fabric. So she just cuts a section, stitches on it, moves to the next section. So that's why she uses it a lot because you get a lot. You get 19 by 27, so she's using that up. And then, oh my goodness, okay, I'm gonna explain how she's doing this. Okay, she bought this Joanne. at Joann's. Can you fix the camera, Lily? Yeah. I don't know. There, so it's like a little witch, and she is using, so this is the one that's finished. This is her number four. There you go. There I go. That's number four. So what she did is she used a sticky board and then she just used hot glue, wrapped it around and glued it down. She got this at Joann's. And then this is the pattern, Happy Halloween. So remember last week I said, oh, she's probably doing a tree. No, she's not doing a tree. She's doing the witch and she's changing it out daily. And she's gonna do it in reverse. So it's like 31 days to Halloween, 30 days to Halloween. And here you go. She's got one. You just already saw four. So she's got one. My kids would love this. Two. They would fight over who could do it. Who could put it on there. Two. Three. 
so cute. And we think this would look really nice, this hazy gray fabric. She used some fabric from her stash. And again, that is Halloween Calendar by Tiny Modernist. So that is so cute. Oh my goodness. She's getting so much done. And there's even more. Just wait. <coughs> this is Holiday Hoopla Halloween. And this, okay, so I showed this to you last week where it was on, oh my goodness, sorry. Where it was on the fabric. It's under the chair. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, technical difficulties for a second. Okay, so sh where did she buy this one at? She bought the pumpkin. Walmart. Walmart. So this one, it came like this. She added the kitty on top. From Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. And this is a magnet. So she put a magnet on the back. And it just sticks on. So then you just straighten it. And she put some twill on the edge. So, so cute, right? So again, that is Holiday Hoopla Halloween by Brenda Gervais. And so last week she finished it. This week she fully finished it. And then this is my absolute favorite. This is on my list. It will be done by December 31st. Autumn Skies by Hands on Design. The artist is Kathy Haberman, and this pattern comes with two pieces. So this is one, and this is another. And in the pattern is the felt or the wool felt to do this. And then all you have to do is add the button, and we do sell the button pack. And you're gonna see it live and in person right now because Cheryl already did hers. And so these little buttons are from just another button company. And then this is the one pattern, and she got this at Hobby Lobby. And I don't think she painted it. I think it came just like this. So, oh my goodness, I have more. It's like the Oprah show. And there's more. Okay, this one I have to pull like this. Okay, this is the free Aura Fill pattern. Quaker Halloween. It's a free pattern designed by Susan Aki, and she used Aurafil threads, which are the RF loss. She stitched this on 16 count white chocolate Ada, and she got this spider web at Hobby Lobby. And so the spider web is feltish, but it has a stiffness. And she got all this stuff recently, so any of these things you see, you can find at Hobby Lobby. And this is so stinking cute. Okay, and this is perfect right here if you are in our Ada or Linen Wichel Club because this is the fabric that you got. And so um, last month, so Cheryl's in the club, Cheryl used what she got, and there you go. So I told you guys I was going to show you what to make with it. This is one of the ideas. So now I'm going to take any questions you have before I show you photos because I have a big photo album. More photos. Lots of photos. Okay, yes, we have lots of questions. Um, okay. From Sylvia Tacker, good morning. Are you going to sell Snow Village patterns separately from yep. the club? Yep. And they have not shipped yet. What she does is she ships to distributors, waits till the distributor gets them, then she ships them to stores. So as soon as we get them, package them up, ship them out, but we will sell everything separately, everything together. Any way you want it, you can get it. Lauren, Any way you want it. I was about it. to say that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I don't know the rest of the words. Um, okay, there you go. Lorena Gleason says, do you need a long needle to stitch that way? Um, asking when you were actually stitching the camera. So when I stitch on 25 count, the longer needle helps me catch it, if that makes sense. So on 25 count Lugana, I use a John, no, I use a Pat Carson size 26. That has worked really well. When I use Ada, I use a John James Petite. And um, because the shorter, it's easier to catch it. So it's all about my hand and how I can get it to fit. Now, I did try the ballpoint. Lori and I did a little test. Oh, 
don't know if I want to say what Lori did with hers. Maybe she can tell it herself. But she had to rip it all out because she went backwards. She, she turned anyway. She like was doing the ballpoint and she was trying to test it and she turned hers. Anyway, it was, it was quite funny. So the ballpoint needles, um, we were recommended those by Chelsea. They are by Sullivan's. We are now sold out. Um, we're getting more. They're just kind of a newer product. They started overseas and now they have them here. Um, I couldn't get the, I couldn't get it. I think with Ada, I could probably get it to work, but with the Lugana, it was kind of, it's so fine that it was kind of going through too quick for me. Um, but it's a really nice needle. I, you know, you, you have to get used to stuff. So I tried it for about 30 minutes and said, okay, I need to keep going. So I went back to my other needle. Um, they're really nice quality. Um, I think it would work better for me on Ada. And Candy Kerr says, oh, where'd it go? Oops, sorry. Um, I'll find the comment right now. It went away. I'm sorry, Candy. I'll find it in the side. Um, okay, from Darlene Barada, any suggestions to make it easier to stitch on black 14 count Ada? So stitching on black 14 count Ada, what I would do is put something like this in your lap. That could just be a white pillow. Just putting something underneath you, um, like a white pillow, a white sheet, anything white and putting it under it, it kind of radiates the light up. I actually have had no problem stitching on black. When I went to Lori's house last week, I had three projects with me, or maybe more. Um, but I could not do the Lugana on the plane. I tried. It is... I couldn't do it, but the black Ada I was able to do fine without any magnification, without anything. So the black Ada, um, I really don't have any problems with. Now on the plane, I did use the light above, of course, but I didn't have my magnifier or anything with me. Okay, found Candy's question. Sorry about that, Candy. Uh, she said, should we hold our white chocolate fabric for something special? Uh, no, use it up. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to use it on, um, yeah, she's going to show you what I'm going to use it on. Sorry. I'm going to use my white chocolate on this, and I'm going to make both. I already have it kitted up. I'm going to make both, so um, that's what I'm going to do. And the lamb's wool that was the first month, I use that on all the stuff. So, I mean, I use that all the time. Uh, from Rita Strong, okay, I am the one that asked about the beginner kit for your daughter. You said a stitch card. I don't know what a stitch card is. Could you please explain? Yes, we can, Rita. The same. Yeah, so we have stitch card set A and stitch card set B. Set A is above my wall. If you want to, if you want to take a photo, this is B. Okay. okay. They're little cards. Y'all are gonna see. see. Let's see you. That's, okay, see if the Ooh. camera, so there's where my stitch cards are. So they're just, um, they're just that single patterns, nice. and there are eight designs currently. We're going to have a ton of them. They're, of course, designed by Lori Holt, and they're just small designs, you know, 24 by 24, something like that, a little bit bigger with the border, but the inside designs are always 24 by 24. Um, so each one is 38 by 38 if you add the border. Um, James Patrick handcrafted. I wonder what color Denise used on the camper door. Love it. I haven't picked a color yet. She hasn't picked, she hasn't picked her color yet. So it's just the fabric. So it's just the uh, fabric so far. So there's nothing stitched on there. That's funny. Okay. Um, from Mary Buchan, can you tell me when the Redwood Garden quilt kit is shipping and also Snow Village? Thank you. So Redwood Garden, we're just waiting for that. That comes prepackaged from Moda. So should be any day since the yardage has arrived. The kits usually arrive a couple days, a couple days, couple weeks after. Um, usually two weeks would be about that. So that's what I would guess for that. Snow Village should be shipping in approximately 10 days. We still need to get the patterns. We still need to get our, our floss. Um, so the second it gets here, packaging it up, shipping it right out. Okay, and from Debbie Shapiro, do you clean your design boards? There are never any loose threads. Um, so the ones that are here are the ones that we just use for these videos, so that's why they're not dirty. At home, I use the little uh, lint, lint, roller. lint roller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to use the lint ro roller or my kids pick it off, um, but they are pretty dirty. I mean, at home, the real ones. These are just in my office because I'm not going to like bring them and take them home, bring them and take them home. So these are clean only because of that, but yes, they do get dirty. I just use a lint roller and I don't even care if they're dirty. 
I have one that, oh my gosh, when Christopher was a baby. It was back, okay, this was back before Riley Blake made these for us. I had handmade all of them, and Christopher got a pencil and went, psh, 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 psh. that line is still there, and I still use that, I'm still mad at him over it. I still use the design board all the time. It has his handwriting on it, I don't even care. Yeah, he was, he was like, I was drawing for you. I'm like, oh my goodness, oh. Kid. But I still use it, I mean, it still works. Like, I don't care if there's pencil, I mean, I do care, but it's funny. He doesn't even remember doing it. He probably was like two. He probably couldn't even talk. <laughs> um, from Melissa Safransky. I love your last name, by the way. She says, hello, just an FYI. I heard that a knitting needle case works well as a travel case for the daylight. I purchased one and they were right. Okay, so, so we can look that up. Yes. Um, okay. Angela Bolbeck, do you have a floss Kranich kit for the scary apothecary? Set? No. That's Krynek or Krynek. We don't carry that brand yet. Okay. Like I have some of it at home, but yeah. I haven't, I mean, on the floss tubes I've watched, I mean, people don't love working with it. We haven't really had enough requests, so, um, so no. I mean, I wouldn't say that we're gonna carry that anytime soon either, but you know, we might, we might not. Oh, and apologies to Mary. Mary uh, corrected me on her last name. It's Houchin, Mary Houchin, now I will remember. Um, okay. At least you can see to read it. I can't read anybody's name. <laughs> That's fair. Um, Cindy Jensen says, on the boo jar, do you outline one pumpkin at a time? I do. A lot of people that I have seen on social media do all of the white, which I think is amazing, but I know that I would get off count. So what I do is I do, can I see mine? Sorry. So what I've been doing, because I get bored a little bit. So I just do, like, a, I'll do all the white for the pumpkin and a green, and then I go back and do the green and the, the green and the pink, I mean the green and the orange. And then I'll go to the next pumpkin. So I just go pumpkin by pumpkin, which is how you can see, and then I'm probably gonna outline all the jar and the pump and the words, and then fill in the jar and then do the side pumpkin. So I do do it pumpkin by pumpkin. But I mean, you can do it however you want. I just, to me, it, it adds more excitement to it to like finish one little piece. I do think if you did all the white at one time, you could get done a lot faster though, because you could just keep going with the same floss. Um, but I like doing the pumpkins. And then I kind of have been doing a circle design. So the way that I've been doing my pumpkins, because it's hand dyed variegated floss, I've been going in a circle mo motion instead of left and right so that I would get more of a circular motion. And so you can see the variegation difference between the oranges, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So I've had a little bit of fun kind of going in circles, like trying to do it <laughs> correctly and not, you know what I mean? Like if you're new at it, it's easier just to do what you usually do. So doing it in a circle kind of challenges your mind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and then from Anna Deal, this is just one of my favorite comments from the live stream because she noticed something. She says, it's nice that the threads over Kimberly's right shoulder coordinate with Halloween. So the threads right behind you are like orangey, fallish, uh, under oh. right shoulder. Oh, there you go. oh, I'm like, yeah, the, yeah, okay, thank you. Um, left from, shoulder! That's your right. But on camera, that's your okay. left. Oh, okay, I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah, yeah they figured it's backwards. It out that, yeah. yeah, sorry. Um, Garilyn, it is my right. Okay. That is your right shoulder, yeah, don't worry. Garilyn Beasley <laughs> says, you might have answered this. Uh, are there patterns available for the Halloween calendar you showed? Yes, the, it, is one ca it is one pattern. It came out in the last week or two. Um, Denise is making this in one full mm -hmm. section, and she has the Happy Halloween done. And this is the back. And then the inside is, uh, the entire inside is the pattern, so it's only one pattern. My kids would really like this. I just, oh, I don't think I can add to my plate, but they would love it. Mm -hmm. I just, oh, I can't add. Uh, from Rob Payton, can you get the size 28 ball point need ball points? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think we might have them on order already. Mm -hmm. um, they're just, we, there's only two distributors that carry it right now. And um, we have a ton on order of both. And I think size 24 also, all three sizes. Um, and I don't know when they'll ship. It's kind of one of those things where um, 
you don't really get a date like some of the manufacturers will say okay this is shipping on this day and so you have an idea those have never had a date on them so I just wait patiently um, and Lori Holt said when I had a rip out it wasn't because of the ballpoint needle I just it wasn't my fabric wrong and my stitches were going wrong direction so I ripped them out and fixed them oh, yeah wow. and so basically we're working on this like top secret project which is why I can't really explain it to you but she like turned it but Lori always messes up because we talk so much and she's always like why are you not talking I'm like because I'm I don't want to mess up <laughs> she messes up every time it's so funny <laughs> I'm oh my gosh I can't wait to show you my pictures okay and then Chris E says, is there a way to tell which kits FQS puts together versus the ones that are from manufacturer? For cross stitch, everything that you find that is kittable in Fat Quarter Shop that says cross stitch kit, we do ourselves. Inside, it will tell you um, how many strands we use, the exact floss we use, as much detail as we can. Um, sometimes we have some patterns that come with some floss or patterns that might have a little fabric insert. Those are from the manufacturer, but if it says cross stitch kit or fat quarter shop exclusive, that means that Denise and I put those together with the help sometimes of Cheryl. But that's like me and Denise just like having fun over here. <laughs> okay. um, I'm going to ask this because I thought this was hilarious. Sorry, Denise. Um, Daisy Tolson says, Can we meet who whispers to you? Thank she will you. not come on camera. Will you come on camera? No, she's not about to come on camera. It, she would quit. She would walk out on me. She um, would be like, I'm not going to lunch with you. No, she's very shy. If you want to kind of see her or her hands, check out our quilting channel and try to guess which hands her videos are in. She's a yeah, hand she's, model. Yeah, she's not going to. Yeah, <laughs> she does not want to come on camera. Yeah, no, that's right. I just thought it was great because she, she does whisper to Kimberly. She does because we, it's really hard to, I try to come prepared. I try to remember everything. There is so much stuff and I half the time say it wrong. So it is easier for me to just let her tell me because she's got papers over here with it on there. She can read it to me and then there's no mistake. So that's why we do it that way because we want to be accurate and half the time I can't. When you get on camera, like, it's different because you have to like... People say all the time that I have a deer in the headlights look, which I do. So it's because I can't, like, it's easier, like in real life, if I was just sitting here, I could just tell you. But if I'm wrong, I can just correct myself. But on camera, it's different. It's not like you can correct yourself as easily. I don't know. Peach, <laughs> Peach said, Denise is the floss whisperer. Hello. Floss whisperer. Okay, we <laughs> can do. title. Yeah, we need to, like, stitch that up for her. <laughs> Yes. That's hilarious. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's like the greatest comment ever. Oh, wait, sorry. On the same subject, Pat Pro says Denise did the sewing on the pineapple paper, I think. I think you were Yes, she Pat. did. Okay. Anne Marie Mikowski, do you carry any glow in the dark floss? No. Yes. Yes. DMC light effects. DMC Ooh. light effects. There you go. See? Floss Whisperer. <laughs> She's like Kevin. I, Kevin won't get on camera either. The quilters want to see Kevin. But I did get him to agree that if we can raise 50000 from yeah. our customers that he would get on camera. For Make-A-Wish. For Make-A-Wish. No, oh, not, not for us. Our own, yeah. No, it would go directly to Make-A-Wish. Um, because he really, and the reason why is every wish costs approximately $10,000. Depends. Some, some are more, some are less. Um, but that's in general what they allot for it. Um, and so we were only able to do three, and he really wants to be able to do five. And I was like, well. And he said, well, if somebody gives a really big donation, I'll call him on the phone. And I was like, that is not the same. Mm -hmm. But whatever. If y'all want Kevin to call you on the phone, he doesn't even talk. I don't know what he would say. <laughs> he doesn't. He, there's not very many words that come out of his mouth. <laughs> he's, very, he's very quiet. He doesn't watch these videos, so I can say whatever I want. Oh, I mean, I would never say anything bad about him, but he's just very, very introverted. Um, Glinda Olive says, hey y'all from Southwest Pennsylvania, have y'all considered getting the primitive hair, primitive hair, ugh, primitive hair patterns, I keep wanting to say primitive gatherings, I'm sorry, oh. she has a great Halloween countdown pattern as well. We will look right after this video, I have no idea who she is, so I will look after this. Okay, and then Doc Doc Goose Design says, how soon will you be getting the white light back in stock, I'd like it for my retreat with Chocolate Girl Stitches in November. The Halo Go, it's going to be at end of September. So the Halo Go light will be end of September. The manufacturer, because we actually ordered it from the distributor and the manufacturer. The manufacturer emailed Denise and I last week and said that they had so many orders for that product and the rose gold light 
that um, that they their first batch sold out, and so end of September, and it's because of demand. But I was so excited that they emailed me, so I would know the answer. Yeah. Um, also, for those of you asking, yes, Denise is the left-handed quilter on yes, the channel. Yes, she is. Yes, she's representing the left-handed quilters and cross stitchers everywhere. Uh -huh. um, okay. Uh, Donna Cook says, for EQS, is there a place with charts to measure how to know what size fabrics to get? So you would just take, on all of our patterns, we say stitch count. All you have to do is convert that. So if the stitch count is 100 by 100, if you're using 10 count, 100 divided by 10 is 10, so it would be 10 by 10. If it's 14 count, it would be 7.1 7 .1 by 7.1. So you would just take a hun you would take your stitch count divided by your count. So you just kind of convert it out. And if you have questions, you could email us or call us, and we can help you. Uh, Terry Lane says, "Would you please do a future tutorial on doing a quarter stitch and how to know the correct placement of the stitch when reading the pattern? A tiny monitor's pattern uses the quarter stitch. I'm struggling." So we will ask Cheryl to do that for us. I do not do half stitches. I do not know how to do half stitches, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. I do all the beginner stuff. So we can ask Cheryl, um, and maybe she could look through this ha Halloween one and see if there's something, because then she could just do it as part of her stitching. I don't see any half stitches here, but yeah, I have no idea how to do those. If I had them, I would just, I don't know what I would do. I probably wouldn't do the pattern. Okay. Wait, just for me, because I don't know, what's the difference between a half stitch and a quarter stitch, or are they the same thing? So I think a half stitch is where you just do half the X, or yeah, and a quarter, stitch. quarter stitches you just do like half a quarter, half a half, okay. I think. I don't know, we'll get Cheryl to clear it up. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to my photo album for a little bit. So Lori and I went and we went to um, Festival of Quilts that was hosted by Riley Blake. It was totally awesome and we decided to take a little field trip to Shepherd's Bush. So Shepherd's Bush is in Ogden, Utah, so her lovely husband drove us an hour to here. So this is the outside. We got there an hour early and so we sat outside. Well, nope. They drove me to get me a tea at Chick-fil-A. And then we came back. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of the inside in case you ever wanna visit. They gave me permission to show these pictures. Okay. So the first picture. Oh, you want me to, okay. Go for it? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. The first picture I loved was the Ada wall. So these are all prepackaged Adas. And, you know, I love me some Ada, so I made Lori stand in front of it. That's Lori Holt, who designs all of our cross-stitch. And so that was their Ada wall. And then we're just going to click through some other pictures. Um, I think this, so th she is one of the owners. There are two sisters that own the store. And that is Lori holding one of her patterns and one of the owners. And then we're just going to scroll through, but these are just some different examples of floss they have, patterns, all the things they have. Um, they probably have 750 to 1,000 samples on the walls. Um, the store is very big. They have anything you can imagine. I mean, I can't even. Wow. Yep. So that's like one of their brands of floss. These are just you know, I just kind of did random pictures just so you could see because, you know, if you ever want to visit, this is what you're going to get. And this is in the front of their store, so they decorate. I only know this because Lori told me. They decorate the very front. This is like right when you walk in by the cash register each season. So this is obviously decorated for fall and Halloween. And across from it is also another section, so they've got it all dolled up for Halloween. And they also keep Christmas out, I'm assuming year-round, because that was in the front of the store. And that's just like one of the mini walls. Every wall is covered. There isn't a section, and you can see in the front, those are like trays of just another button companies. Um, yeah, those are like their little buttons and the little, so any, and then they were really nice. You know, Lori wanted something kitted. She walked in and said, oh, can you kit this? And we were done shopping in an hour. We had to get back to Festival of Quilts and um, they kitted it all up. So they're super helpful, super nice. Okay, this is later. And that is my tease for next week. 
that is something that we're going to be doing a stitch along with. I forgot it at home, so that's great that I have a photo of it <laughs> because I'm actually turning it into something today. I'm super excited about doing that also. Um, so this is Lori's half of her studio. You can see in the top right is her eat, sleep, stitch, repeat. Uh, and in those, okay, so that left cabinet right there is entirely full of cross stitch patterns, the whole thing. And I said, Lori, let's organize it. And she was like, no, I'm too tired. But I want to just go back and organize that so I can look through all of it. And that is, um, okay, Lori, what's her name? That is Saltbox Stitcher. So she is a YouTuber and she does floss tubes. And so we sat around and watched floss tubers. And so we thought that was kind of a cute picture because she's peeking out at me. It's, we didn't do that on purpose, but... There you go. That's at her house. And then, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, here you go. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to pee my pants. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so in Lori's house, this is right before you go in her room, in her, in her sewing room. So um, she had told me, oh, I bought this cabinet at a Hobby Lobby. Now there's a link for it below. We don't make money on it or anything. I'm just linking it for convenience. Um, so, she, so I was like, well, what's in here? She's like, oh, remember I told you all my floss? So click to the next one. So this is her floss cabinet, and I'm straight up copying her. So these, she has six drawers of, and she has them by color, so you can just kind of scroll through, Lily, if you want to. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to do something similar, but I don't have all this fancy floss. I just have a ton of DMC, Anchor, and Cosmo. So I'm going to be doing the same thing at my house. Same ex I bought it. It's arriving today from Hobby Lobby. What? Yes, I bought it on Sunday on the way to the airport. I'm totally copying her. She said it's fine. <laughs> and um, she had to send me dimensions of the drawers so I could go buy all the things. And I'm separating all my floss. But mine will obviously look different because Lori uses, a, you know, a lot of fancy floss. I don't really have any. So um, what I do have is... What I do have is, years and years ago, Emma was like a baby. She's now 12. My mom always asked me, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, I don't know. So, I, years ago, said, oh, I just would like a full set of DMC. So, she bought me two. I forgot I had two. I thought I had one. I got my things down. Because I never get to my DMC because it's way up high. So, now I'm going to be able to get to it. But, see, I got to get home because Kevin doesn't know I bought it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like get the FedEx driver to like pull it in. I'm going to try to put it together myself and then just hope he doesn't. I mean, it was only $154. He really doesn't care. He re I mean, he really doesn't care. But I try to like sneak stuff so that he'll say, what? Where did you get? I mean, like it's kind of like what we do. He doesn't care if I spend money, I don't think. But it was $154. I mean, for floss. So anyway, so that was my big surprise when I pulled it down to organize it because I have my little bins and I'm already organizing it. And then I had to ask Lori, well, which bin would I put this in? And I'm making a little spreadsheet. It's so ridiculous. And Priscilla and Chelsea were like, well, you could have been stitching, but instead of doing that, I'm like, well, I have to do it. Well, then I pulled, I also have all of the anchor flosses. And I don't know if I have one skein of each or two. And I have all of Cosmo. And then I have some Krynic silks. And I don't know if it's all going to fit. Lori was like, I'm not sure all of that is going to fit. So we're going to see. And I'm going to show you pictures. Probably not next week because I probably won't finish next week. But I am so excited. And I'm so excited that Lori and I have that friendship where she doesn't care if I copy. Because I don't like when people copy me. Um, but I was like, Lori, i got to buy this. She's like, yeah, Hobby Lobby. So I was like, she's like, look it up online. So we got in the car and I was like, doop, doop, check, check out with my PayPal. <laughs> shipped Monday it's coming today I'm gonna drive home before he gets home and Emma might help me organize they all might but I'm so excited hey. I know and then I even got so anal retentive that I cut off the little ends where they were all messy looking so that it's gonna be so pretty oh. I know it's I'm really that's when I was like I think I have maybe a little problem it's my OCD but I'm so excited and then I think what I'm gonna do is like if I it's like a library if I check it out I gotta replay anyway I'm so excited all right, we got a few questions here do you want okay. to do shout outs first yeah let's questions? do shout outs first I want to shout out we'll go ahead and I'll okay okay so this is rusty quilts she's on week five super cute look at her she switched the dog and the person let me tell you something oh, she's got okay. her priorities right and then I think she has a cat in the back <laughs> What? Is that what it is? It's a doggy. 
The a gardener. Driver's seat? Yeah. yeah, the dog's in the driver's seat, and then there's a kitty in the back. <laughs> I think that's cool. Oh, that's great. I could teach my dog to drive. And then she is chilling at the pool. This is Miss Andrea Quilts. Nothing like a little morning county car cross stitch before heading to the beach. The beach was made for stitching. That's what she says. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta sing a little bit. <laughs> That's her hashtag. I was singing it. Is that the boots were made for the walking? The boots were made for okay. walking. I just changed it up. I love it. I'm really silly today. And then this is Tanya Delgado Anderson, week four done. That was a lot of pink. Super cute. And then we really liked this frame. I think this looks awesome. It's kind of a combo of Lori's fully finished Happy Glampers cross stitch pattern by Lori Holt. I used her B Basics RF Floss, which is an RF Floss pack and 36 count linen. Sure was a fun stitch. The only way I will camp is in our glamper. Therefore, I changed the wording just a bit. So look at her changing her text. And then this one we thought was really cute. It's a July Cottage, Country Cottage Needleworks, Better Late Than Never. i got to finish that one. And then we've got September. So these are the Cottages of the Month by Country Cottage Needleworks, and I am done through May. I'm going out of order now, though, and or that my months. Order. Yeah, okay, but there's one more with her. Keep going. Yes. No, okay, there was... There, this is the last one I have. Okay, I know what it is. Okay. Okay, so I saved images from where I was gone, and I saved some for Friday. And Chris, okay, I'm going to get her last name, Chris Schlevine. She's going to be a shout-out on Friday, but check it out. I almost like, look at this. Her little kids made me this. It's a little pin cushion. Look how cute it is. So yeah, little elementary kids. So what she teaches is second through sixth grade. And she teaches, um, I can't remember what they called it. It's not home ec, but it's basically handwork is what she teaches. So like second grade does cross stitch, third grade does crochet, fourth grade does knitting, something like kind of like that was how she was explaining it to me because she took um, Lori's classes. And it was really cool because I had sent them, I think I had sent some 10 count of Lori's to everyone in her class and they made it for me. And she basically told them to make it up as they go and she told them that I like aqua and pink. That's awesome. I, I know, I'm so excited. So it's gonna sit right here. It's so cute. I'm going to show my kids. So we still have a few questions. Oh, yeah. We are right at time, so I'm just going to take a couple here. Yeah, we can take like 10. Okay. Like we can 10. go over okay. a little bit. Uh, from Glenda Olive, what is Cosmo Floss? Is it like DMC or more like Fancy Floss? It is like DMC and it is like butter. That is exactly what I call it. It is the most amazing floss ever. It glides like butter. It is, the colors are more saturated and a little bit darker and they obviously don't have as many colors as DMC so you know they might not have all the colors you need but it is uh, I mean it is amazing it doesn't um, it doesn't knot as much and it just it just has like a sheen on it I can't even explain it it's made in Japan that's why Japanese you know it's a Japanese it's made by the same company who produces Lucian fabric so if you're a quilter um, and they also do some new sashiko threads. So it's all made in Japan, and everything made in Japan is always a very high quality. Um, but it is, oh, we don't really kit it as much because it's harder to get, um, and it's more expensive, but it is amazing. Uh, Donna Cook says, do any of you use an app for cross-stitch? An app? No, I don't. I don't use an app. I use lots of spreadsheets. Yeah, I don't. There are apps, though. There are some apps that will keep track of your colors that you have. So, example, there's, I don't even know what they're called, but I've seen it on Reddit. They will track, you know, they have all the DMC colors, and you can mark off what you have. Um, I'm not, like, a big phone person. There's, I, I get on my phone, I get on Reddit, Facebook, and I play Sudoku. And this daily word game that Priscilla got me playing. But I don't, um... I'm more of a spreadsheet kind of girl, old school. Okay. But there are apps, so look it up. Um, funny comment from Robin Henrich. My mail lady just asked me who Fat Quarter Shop is because of all the packages. Does that mean I'm ordering too much? No, uh. it doesn't. It means you're awesome. 
<laughs> so uh, one of the ladies at one of the classes at Lori, she was so cute. She was so nice. I forgot her name. But she calls me quarter fats. Her husband calls me quarter fats because he reads it. I don't know. He just calls it. So she's, he always tells her, you have a package from quarter fats. And I think that's so funny. That's so I told her, we took a picture and I said, see, show him. I'm really nice. I'm really Keep nice. buying. <laughs> but I thought it, I thought it was cute because it's like backwards. Um, oh, Donna Cook said, you can totally tell when Kimberly is sparked with joy. She sings. I sing. I, but, but in real life, I don't know the lyrics to nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I don't know the lyrics. I cannot hold a tune. I cannot. I can only remember like the main. I'm still trying to figure out like Lizzo, who she is and oh. what these new lyrics are. And I can't even understand her. So my kids all know the words. I'm like, can you just tell me what she's really saying? Because I don't understand it. Uh, she's like, I'm fine being single. It's is like that what it is? is? Basically. Because yeah. men yeah. can do their thing, but I'm going to do my thing. Okay, well, there yeah. you go. See, I should have just asked Lily. <laughs> I love Lizzo. See, well, it's a, it's the funny thing because then my, my kids like to have their own thing. So Lizzo is supposedly Christopher's, but nobody else likes Lizzo. So there's an argument anytime she comes on. I didn't even know who she was until like two weeks ago until Denise <laughs> told me. I just knew that they were like singing this and they would argue when she came on because only Christopher wanted to listen to her. So anyway, now I know who she is. Yeah. Okay. Um... Wendy Ledbetter says, when will the Snowman Monthly Club ship? I can hardly wait. Probably like 10 days, one to two weeks. Oh, I also have new items. I forgot. Good catch, uh, Floss Whisper. Floss Whisper. So we have some new patterns by Barbara Anna Designs. We've had a lot of people call for her designs. So these are two of her new ones. Three Witches and Witches Pantry. And then Kevin, this is a request from Kevin, wanted us to show these because they're selling so good. We got these Ever Sewn is basically the same company as Bernina Sewing. And these are amazing. And Kevin saw them and loved them. And they're selling so good. He was like, you need to show these on live stream. They're super, um, they're just super sturdy. Sometimes you get those hoops that are ugly and not sturdy. They're super cute. So we are going to challenge Cheryl. Um, Denise is already telling Cheryl, we're going to have Cheryl finish some things in these because she obviously finishes faster than we do. Okay. We had some requests for this fabric. It's 32 count Lugana. People called. They wanted it. So we got it. There is a gray and a brown, a gray check and a barn board check. And this is the, the biggest count we could get it in. So it's, you know, Lugana, 32 count, super cute. We are going to come up next week. What we can do is we can do a segment where we pull patterns that we think would go well on this. Um, and I will be honest, Cheryl and Denise will probably do that because they're better at it than I am. Um, but we had requests for this. So just wanted to show that we got it in. If you were the one that requested it, thank you. And then we also had this big request on Kimberly Stitch Squad. Kimberly Stitch Squad is my Facebook group where all my fans congregate and I um, I lurk. I see it all the time. Um, I just don't post as much because if I commented on everybody's, I would never get any work done. This is called Petite Point. So if you want to search, it's P-E-T-I-T -T space P-O-I-N-T. Both words do not have an E. There are different sizes. Now, there is no 14 count in this. It's all 18 or 20 count. Um, that is what is currently made. And we do have a kit. I will tell you that I, oh, actually Lori did. Lori came up with the idea, not even me. It was, um, Lori got a pattern. I'm gonna stitch it on one of these. 18 count gray. On 18 crown gray. See, she's over here telling me what I'm gonna do. I can't remember what I picked. But yes, I'm gonna do a kit on this and it's Lori's idea. So I'm gonna start stitching that this weekend. And we can come up with some patterns that would work on both of these and have just a little idea segment next, next week. Um, we'll have to stock up on the patterns that we um, come out with. But it's super, I mean, it's super cute. I, I hope I can stitch on it when I get to it. I can stitch, this, this one I'm not sure, but this is Ada, so I can definitely do this. The, Lu, the Lugana, I don't know. But uh, yeah, sorry. Yes. I almost forgot all this. See, Denise pulled all this. She would have been like, I pulled all that and you didn't even show it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so she had to remind me. Yes. Okay. Um, from Annie Shaw, is there a monthly cross stitch box? We have right now a monthly floss fix. fix. 
It's currently sold out, but we will have more spots next month. That is floss each month. We have a club you can get either Wichell Linen or Wichell Ada. That's been super popular, and we're showing you as you see how to use it. Uh, we're going to have some kind of box. We're just working out the details. So it, it's, it's quite a while off. Um, doing a box, for example, for my Quilter Sew Sampler box, it is quite the ordeal. It is like one person's full-time job to do that box. It is, you have to place orders six months in advance. You have to, you know, we've been in the quilting business a long time. We know how deliveries are. Cross-stitch deliveries are not good. They're totally different. Um, we have to just, when we say we're gonna deliver something, we're gonna deliver it. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I've gotta figure out this industry first a little bit. But yeah, we're working on it. I just don't know when. Okay, from Linda Gillespie, uh, she says, getting ready for rotator cuff surgery, Ooh. an arm will be immobilized. Uh, will you ask stitchers if they were able to move wrists in their immobilizers and hand stitch? I'll go nuts doing nothing. So if either you have yeah. any tips or if anyone out there has any tips for Linda. Yeah, I have no Linda. idea. That sounds painful. Yeah, we're, we're uh, keeping high hopes for you, Linda. Um, Is that like right here? I think it's okay. Back there. So She's knows. saying it's back there. <laughs> oh, do you? Have Maybe yeah. you did. Well, then okay, what's the answer? Tips, I mean, well, you're in a sling. So, so maybe the other hand you can, can do it. Use your wrist, but if the muscles connect, not really. Okay, so Denise says you can use your wrist a little bit. Yeah, depending on. Or your other hand. Or your other hand. Maybe you could maybe you could get one of those like stands. What's that guy that's local that makes those stands? What's the Case Creation? Case Creation has these stands. They're like wooden. Maybe you could like and then do the other hand. Lap petite frames. Lap petite frames. Maybe that. And from Sesame Howard, uh, she says, "Hi, greetings from Kansas City, Missouri." Can you kindly show how to start doing a dimensions kit? I'm a newbie on cross stitch and I appreciate everything from your channel. So for dimensions kits, it, um, we don't sell them, but I would probably with those start in the very center because those tend to be rather large. And with those, they come with the floss already in there and you have to just divide the floss yourself. Um, but it's kind of the same technique. It's just, I would start in the center, not a corner because those are so big. Oh yeah, we have a few people in the chat saying they, uh, several moms have had that surgery and they were able to crochet, to embroider, to do different things, so. Awesome. Yay. Okay, awesome. So thanks for watching and I um, will be back next week and um, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching today and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.